So we cruised down a narrow like stretch of road. On both sides it was like tall pine trees. The headlights beamed out on the open road and everything outside the beam was pitch black. And everything was quiet except for the music blaring out of the car sound system. Causing the windows to shake and buzz from the, all that bass man produced by the stereo system. I looked at my friend Jeremy. Come on, Jeremy. You know that old Lorna won't it? <laughs> I chuckled to myself. Jeremy stared at me obnoxiously before slamming his hand on the dashboard. Leave it out, Al. We're over. Will you stop picking at that thread? I knew what enraged Jeremy and I enjoyed playing on. I, you know, there were mention of his ex-girlfriend Lorna drove him into uh, like a frenzy. Hey Al, you should have took the turning back there. Jeremy glanced over his shoulder watching the last turning we would have seen for hours fade into the distance. Don't worry, Jed. There'd be another turning up here somewhere, man. But I was wrong. We had been driving for hours, and I was drowsy, and Jeremy had fallen asleep hours ago. To my utmost surprise, I saw a rundown motel on the side of the road. The neon light that illuminated the parking lot was somewhat, you know, dim and had a few bulbs and stuff that needed replacing. I pulled into the parking lot, nudging Jeremy slightly. Hey, look, man, we uh, we'll sleep here tonight, man. Yeah. Jeremy shook his head like real anxious, man, climbing up out the car. I done seen enough horror movies to know that this kind of place is where you get cut up by some, you know, body wearing a hockey mask and face all disfigured and junk. But I mean, you know, what the heck, man. The Sunrise Motel. We in the middle of Illinois somewhere. Hardly like the sunniest state, you know. But I shook my head and I smell a small grin appeared across my face. I should have listened to him. Lord Jesus, I should have listened, man. We made our way into the little empty reception. And uh, I approached the counter, when, you know, and to my surprise, I seen this frail old man jumped up from behind the desk with a mask like leather face on from the Texas Chainsaw movie. And he tore the mask off with a stupid looking smile on his face said, uh, I like the frightening, the, the guess, you see. <laughs> Why, uh, anyhow, uh, can I help you two fine gentlemen today? Now, <laughs> you know what? I've seen some stupid stuff in my life. But this is why your motel runs it down now. And why ain't nobody staying at this mug. Because the kind of stupid stuff like that, man. So I stared at the old man with a look of just, just, I ain't never been so confused in my life, man. And he had a face you couldn't forget, man. His hair was, you know, his hair was, you could tell him he was, he was too old to have black hair. And he had his hair like jet black. And it was thinning out. And, um, I don't know, you could just smell the, smell the grease on his hair. <laughs> And uh, he was, he was disgusting looking, man. You know, real ugly, man. And uh, I said, man, can I get a room or uh, two rooms, whatever, man. And, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, I rubbed my head because he kind of almost gave me a, a headache. Just, just this guy, like, he made me so mad. <laughs> like, he said, sorry, young man, but uh, I only got one room. And you and your buddy going to have to camp out together tonight. And we went through the routine of paying and getting the room keys and all that. And uh, we making our way up to the steep flight of stairs to our motel room. And upon entering the room, the stench of like rotten flesh made its way in our nose, man. And Jeremy said, God, dog. And I ain't paying no mind, you know. I'm like, what else could you expect? Somebody probably left a dang uh, a freaking whopper or <laughs> something. Somebody probably left a whole dang whopper uh, hidden in the wall somewhere, <laughs> saving it for later. Probably got high and said, I'm going to save me a whopper for later. I forgot that mug was in here. So, we, you know, we made the bed up and uh, 
You know, they got everything laid on down, man, for a night of well-deserved rest or whatever. And it seemed like maybe 10 minutes into, like, I went to sleep and, like, it'd be like 10 minutes, man. I woke up to, like, somebody knocking on the door. And I came to the door real slow with, um, with a dang, they had a little, little fire poker thing in there. And I grabbed that mug. It was just laid on a little mantelpiece. I grabbed it and, I, and opened the door just a little bit to see, you know, the the uh, who I thought, you know, was the old man with his mask on. And, uh, you know, so when I seen it, I said, Aha, you so that ain't funny, man. You like to scare the guests, right? So I tried to close the door, but the man pushed the door forward with some with some scruff, man. I'm talking about, like, totally dang, you know, because the door, I still had the little, the, little, the little latch on it. You know, like how when you just move the latch so you can open the door a little bit. I still had the latch on, but this mug blew the door right off the dang latch, man. And um, he grabbed me. He grabbed me by my throat, and I couldn't move, man. I'm like, yeah, go, go, you damn psycho, man. So Jeremy woke up and he froze, man. And he watching the struggle between me and this guy. We just in there stretching, man. And the last thing I could remember was him turning the thing. The he grabbed the fire poker from me and stabbed me in my dang stomach with it, man. <sighs> Next thing I woke up. And the car swerved on the vert into like a dang uh, dip off on the side of the road. Dang, Jeremy, that fell asleep at the wheel, man. And I glanced over at him, and I'm shaking, man. And uh, I'm like, gosh, dog, I just had a dang crazy night, man. You sitting here for the crash the dang car, man. Gosh, dog, Jay, man. He said, Al, you missed the turning, man. And I glanced over my shoulder, and I just shrugged. And I said, it'd be another one nearby. And we drove till our ass was sleepy, till our ass was heavy. I said, hey, there go a motel. The Sunrise Motel, Jeremy said. Yeah, it sounded like a nice place to stop. <laughs>